Welcome to the IBD School 500 series, a series of videos about how to interpret the results of your tests. More patients are now using patient portals to see their results, but may not know what they mean. In this video, IBD School 503, I will explain the fecal calprotectin test, sometimes called CalPro or FCP for short. Fecal calprotectin is a protein in your stool, that's what fecal means, that can be accurately measured in the laboratory with an assay roughly similar to a pregnancy test. Calprotectin is a protein made by the white blood cells, and it is a marker of inflammation. Calprotectin is a stable protein, even in stool, and unlike many proteins, breaks down very slowly at room temperature. Fecal calprotectin provides a measure of the inflammation in your gastrointestinal tract. Some laboratories measure a similar white blood cell protein called fecal lactoferrin, which has similar uses, though the numeric values are different. For patients with IBD, the fecal calprotectin is a bit like a thermometer for inflammation. When the calprotectin is high, inflammation is active, and when the calprotectin is low, inflammation is well controlled. How is fecal calprotectin helpful? The fecal calprotectin can tell you you have active inflammation somewhere in the gastrointestinal tract without using a colonoscope or a CT or MRI scan. It's more expensive than blood tests like CRP and sed rate usually about $180 in the U.S. and about $30 in the rest of the world. Unlike a pregnancy test, it's quantitative, giving you a number for the amount of calprotectin, generally in the range from 0 to 2,000. In some labs, it can be measured very quickly, in about an hour, while other labs send it out to a reference lab, and it may take a week to get a result. Fecal calprotectin generally goes up during a flare over three to four days and goes down over about a week when a new therapy starts to help. It can measure the severity of a flare. It can measure the success of a therapy over time and can measure whether inflammation is returning after a therapy is tapered or stopped. What levels of fecal calprotectin are you looking for in your results? The fecal calprotectin is measured in milligrams per gram of stool and can vary by 150 points from one bowel movement to another. A very good calprotectin is between 0 and 50. This is generally considered no inflammation or remission. A calprotectin between 50 and 250 is considered smoldering inflammation. This often occurs in patients about to have a flare or recovering from a flare. It generally correlates with an endoscopy without visible ulcers, but with inflammation visible in intestinal biopsies when viewed through a microscope. A calprotectin over 250 is active inflammation with ulcers that are visible through a colonoscope. Higher levels suggest more inflammatory activity. In patients having flares, it's not unusual to see values over 1,000 or even above 2,000, which is outside the range of the test. When is the fecal calprotectin less helpful? There are three times when the fecal calprotectin can be less helpful. First, the fecal calprotectin detects inflammation anywhere in the gastrointestinal tract. This means that inflammation somewhere else, from inflammation in the esophagus, like from bad reflux, or inflammation in the stomach, like from a stomach ulcer, can give you a high fecal calprotectin when your intestines are in remission. The fecal calprotectin is not specific to active IBD in the intestine. Second, the fecal calprotectin will be elevated with infections of the gastrointestinal tract, like C. difficile colitis or a viral gastroenteritis. Third, the fecal calprotectin will be elevated when there is a cancer somewhere in the GI tract. To summarize, the fecal calprotectin can be thought of as an inflammation thermometer or reassurance that your medicines are working. Fecal calprotectin is especially helpful in patients who don't make much CRP when they have inflammation. It is also helpful because it is specific to inflammation somewhere in the gastrointestinal tract, which helps in people with inflammation or infections outside of the intestines. Its major limitation is that it is not specific to IBD as inflammation from other sources, including infections or cancer, can increase the fecal calprotectin. It is important to know your highest fecal calprotectin during a flare and your lowest fecal calprotectin during remission to calibrate your personal inflammation thermometer. This can help you track your own inflammation over time. For many IBD patients, a stool marker like calprotectin or lactoferrin can be a helpful way to inexpensively follow their disease activity without invasive and expensive tests.